Hi, boys and girls. Since we can't have Sunday school, I thought it would be fun if we had a story time together. I have a book, A Meal for Many. It's a story that comes from the Bible. <laughs> a Meal for Many, written by Eric J. Rotman, illustrated by Pat Paris. One springtime day in Galilee, our Lord got in a boat. He sailed far out across the sea to find some place remote. But when his boat hit land again to find that rest so rare, the people ran along the shore. They rushed to meet him there. Five thousand men all met the Lord. They brought their loved ones too. When Jesus saw them gathered there, he knew just what to do. He welcomed every boy and girl, each mother and each dad. He gave the sick his healing touch. His presence made them glad. Can you make a face that shows how you feel when you're glad? But when the time for supper came, there was no bread or meat. So Jesus' friends all said to him, there's nothing here to eat. Tell all these people, go away. We can't feed them tonight. Not even eight months worth of pay would give each one a bite. Oh, the people were hungry. I wonder what Jesus will do. Then Simon's brother Andrew said, Lord, if this will do, here is a boy who has some food. He'd like to give it to you. The boy gave Jesus two small fish and five small loaves of bread. Lord Jesus gladly took the gift and upward raised his head. And when he gave his father thanks, he broke the bread and fish. His friends gave supper to the crowd. They said, eat all you wish. Twelve baskets full of bread remained when everyone was done. His friends each gathered up the food. They wasted not a crumb. How happy must have been that boy who gave the Lord his best. For even though the gift was small, Lord Jesus did the rest. God loves the gifts his people bring of money, time, or deeds. He gladly puts them into use to serve his people's needs. So give to God your very best and give your gifts with joy. He welcomes every act of faith, just as he did the boys. <laughs> Yet even more than what we give, Lord Jesus gave to us. He gave us his very dearest gift in death upon the cross. But when they laid him in the tomb, Lord Jesus was not through. His resurrection is a gift. Lord Jesus rose for you. And yet another gift remains for Christians large and small. Christ shall return and we shall live in resurrection all. The end.